Following an accident which left her paralysed, Rosie Mays made the decision to change universities and restart her history degree. Education has always been really important to Rosie. She took pride in her educational achievement and always has done. Rosie's always been an academic and has always loved studying and it's always driven her. And history is an incredibly uh, important subject to her. I always knew that I wanted to return to uni. So it was never really in any doubt because that was just what I was doing and what I wanted to go back to doing. The history degree is a demanding degree, it's demanding intellectually and I think anyone who gets a history degree from Sheffield has really shown that they are capable of doing a lot more than that in the rest of their life and I certainly think that's the case with Rosie as well. Rosie is a remarkable woman. She's got true grit um, and she's got on with it. She's learnt to cope. And besides that, she's learnt to push on with her life. She's now looking forward. She's going to finish a university degree. Rosie has faced many different challenges since returning to university. Even though the support given at uni for disability is very good, there are still a lot of problems with getting around. Sometimes the rooms have been unsuitable or the lift up to the lecture theatre has been too small for Rosie to get into and uh, she has missed seminars and lectures because of inadequate accommodation. Rosie has shown a remarkable amount of patience I think with that. She's shown good humour, uh, she's shown a willingness to work with us rather than against us and to make sure that, that we get a solution which works best for her and I think that's really a sign of her, her character which has been essential for getting her through the adversity that she's faced. Whatever Rosie decides to turn her head to in the future, she will go at it all wholeheartedly, whether that's running her own business or joining a company. She's a very bright, intelligent woman and she's going to go far. Rosie is doing really well. She's performed really well throughout her degree. She's now fairly close to the end of it. She's uh, scored really, really well, really consistently. And I think she's really put together a good performance throughout the degree programme. I'm enormously proud of Rosie. Couldn't, I don't think anybody in the world could be more proud of somebody than I am of Rosie. She just deals with things in such a cheerful, pragmatic way. Just gets on with it. I'm absolutely proud that Rosie chose to go back to university. She's come back from an absolutely catastrophic, life-changing injury. And she's achieved so much already. I don't believe there's anything she can't achieve. When I finally graduate, it'll be it feel like a great achievement and then I'll have to decide what to do next.